I'm gonna show y'all a little easy DIY that doesn't cost much money. Since we did a tour of our house, I've had people asking me about our changing table. It was a changing table that we had bought at a kids consignment sale and it was black. I actually originally made it for Joe and Kendra's nursery and after a while they found they needed a little more storage so they ended up buying a larger dresser and putting their changing pad on top of that and so when they didn't need it anymore I was like hey I actually kind of like it I'll bring that home and use it as my changing table so brought that home and we've been using it now for several years and we absolutely love it so I'm gonna show y'all the process of painting a changing table I have another one right now that I'm doing for our church nursery so I thought it would be great to just show the whole DIY from start to finish so here it is. This is the changing table. I'd seen a changing table like this on Pinterest that was this color of green and had the gold bar pools and I really, really liked it. So I was just trying to copy that. So I just went to Lowe's and I got the sample size paint jar. It's just seven ounces, but I think this is all I'll need for a project this size. It's pretty small. So the color that I got is called Tree Line. This one here, it's Tree Line. 5006-4C. It's just a really nice green, I don't know if you can even really tell. Uh, it's a really nice green, just like, well yeah, like evergreens or something. So I got this, it's $3.98 for the sample jar like this. Since this changing table is stained, I'm going to start off by sanding it down a little bit and then start painting. So I just grabbed these from Walmart. These are just like basic sanding pads. They're not the super, super coarse ones. They're just the fine ones. So I'm not gonna do it like all the way down to just like bare wood, but just enough to rough it up so the paint doesn't peel. I gotta go. 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 I Touch that. Michael, 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 Michael. Michael, Michael. Michael, Michael. Michael, Michael. Michael, Here's Spurgeon's darling little flower arrangement. He picked these the other day and actually pulled them out by the roots and then put them in a bottle of water. And so they're still nice and green. We should uh, get a little pot and replant them. They're so cute. This is sanded down. Now I'm going to, I'm just going to take this microfiber cloth and just wipe it down to get all of the little, just to get the dust off. <laughs> Ooh, yes, you can see that stain coming off. Since you can't actually see this panel here whenever the changing pad is on, I think I may not paint that. All right, so I'm going to pull this drawer out. I need to take off the box as well. when it comes to painting. I just try to start at the back, work my way to the front. That way there's less bumping and reaching. Um, sometimes it's even better to start at the bottom. But um, yeah, so let's see how this goes. There 
there's that rich color. Mm-hmm. Right. This is not the best paintbrush. This is more like a stain brush. This is all I'd have on hand. First coat of paint is done. Now I'm gonna go over with a second coat of paint. changing table and there's the drawer still drying and this little sample paint thing I mean there's still probably about three quarters of an inch left in the bottom of this little jar so it was plenty to do two coats on this whole thing and it's gonna look great so I'm just gonna let that dry and then my hardware for the drawer should be in soon and I'll attach that and I'll show you the final product. Hey. <laughs> Here we are several days later. The paint has dried on the changing table. Here's our original changing table. And this one has three drawers. Um, and then this one here, of course, just has the one drawer and the two shelves. So um, I, I went ahead and ordered the same gold bar pool. I got this from Amazon. It's a 17 and 3 quarters inch span between the screw holes. So I ordered this. I love it. It's solid metal, so very sturdy. My kids... I've climbed on the front of these drawers. Of course, we tell them they're not allowed to, but they end up climbing on the drawers to get up on top. They've held up. They still look just as great as the day we bought them. I'm going to attach this onto this drawer here. These are the original knobs that were on there, just brown wood. They were the same as the changing table color. Um, oh, there, you can have it. Yummy. I think I'll actually be able to use the original screws because these actually, I tried them and they fit. Henry, come here, let me change you. Yes, ma'am. You want to watch me put this on there? Henry, if you want to watch, I'm going to put a drawer, I'm going to put a handle on the drawer. How do we make a handle on the drawer? Well, I'm not going to make the handle. The handle's already made. I'm just going to put it on. So you can watch if you'd like. Here's how we're going to do it. First things first. 
we're going to measure the screw holes, okay? Yeah, measure the screw holes. So I need to use this. Got my washable marker. All right. So these screw holes are just a little too far. If I'm going to do it properly, I'd fill these. I still haven't filled them on the other changing table. There's still holes there. But um, I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to come down. Mark it with a dot right where I want the hole. Now that I have marked my holes, where my holes are going to go, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Why are you going to put the holes right there? there. Okay, so we need holes there so we can attach this new handle to the front of the drawer, just Why? like we have on ours, because it looks very nice. So here we go. I hope the battery's not dead on my drill, because I forgot to charge it. Yay, it's not dead. Step that way just a little bit. She thinks you're daddy. You think I'm daddy? I think mommy's daddy, but she's not. She's a baby. Poo. Let go. Poo. All right, boys. Here we go. We're going to drill it in. You ready? We're going to do this side first. Make sure you get right on the dot. I'm just gonna make a little bit of mess on our floor. Oopsies, it's getting a little bit of mess on our floor. Oh no! That's wrong with my battery. Oh wait, wait, it's a little bit too soft. Let's see. Oh, the battery died. Okay. That's what I get for not charging my batteries last night. Let's see if the other one has any juice left in it. Hold that one for a second. Alright, thank you. Now let's try it one more time. Do you want to help me pull the trigger? Uh. Okay, right, pull the trigger. Keep going. Pull it harder. A little bit more. All right, thank you. Now I can do it. Yay, Ivy says. Yay! Ivy's excited. Pretty far for you. Where's that handle? There it is. All right. All right. You want to help, Henry? I help. Okay, Spurge. Put that through. We need to screw it on. It is the right size. We need to find our screwdriver. My screwdriver might be in the bag. Here you go. You may screw the back of that one right there. Stick it in. Twist it that way. Keep twisting. Keep twisting all the way. Bubs, you got it? You're almost done. You're doing a good job screwing that in. 
I think you're done. Am I? Yep, looks like it's screwed all the way in. All right. Skippy Ray! How does it look? Henry, how does it look? Do it right and nice. Look right here. It's ready to roll. The wedding. It feels nice and sturdy. Ooh. Feels good. All right, now we just need to vacuum the floor because see all that down there? Says, oh, I'm so interested in this. I think that handle probably was the most expensive part of the project because it's like $19, I think, for one bar pool. It seems like I paid more like $15 for it back before whenever I bought them for mine. Um, I just like the nice touch that it gives to it. It's a really nice look. So, in my opinion, it's like the one accent thing that kind of pulls it all together. You may not have the hammer. No, no, no.